low tide at Thorns Bay on the southern coast of England. Maritime archaeologists are searching the mudflats for clues as to what life was like thousands of years ago. I'm delving into our ancient past and here we see this incredible tree organic material from five and a half thousand years ago just in the seabed right near where I live and I find that so tantalizingly exciting. A piece of timber more than 5,000 years old might help us understand what happened when sea levels rose, creating an island that became Britain, separate from continental Europe. What we're doing is we're understanding the patterns of change and the effect of sea level rise in the past. And if we can understand the long-term patterns and responses of the shoreline to that change, we can actually try and move that into the future and understand it and interpret future scenarios. Tides aren't always this low, so the marine archaeologists also dive to find evidence of prehistoric activity. The salty seawater is an excellent preservative. Scientists take their findings back to the lab at the University of Southampton, where they can do tests and carbon dating to figure out how many thousands of years ago our ancestors lived on this foreshore. We've got this coating. There's evidence that the wood was worked on by prehistoric man to make a flat surface. There could be a resin that was applied um, at the time, 5,000 years ago, uh, maybe to protect it, you know, protect it from the water as the sea level was coming up. Discoveries of signs of prehistoric settlements, artifacts, and even food give the archaeologists an idea of what life would have looked like. Also hazelnuts, and here's a nice hazelnut yeah, we found quite a few of these. I so say you have to bear in mind that this is over 8,000 years old. They found DNA from einkorn, an ancient grain, dating it to 8,000 years, indicating early trade. We don't know too much about our prehistoric ancestors and their struggles with rising sea levels, but the more we learn could help in our own approach to climate change. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, Hampshire, England.